implicit modeling is a mathematical method of building wireframes, uh, mostly from drill hole data. It's different to the explicit modeling method that we've used historically, where we've wireframed polygons uh, that have been drawn on section. It's a lot faster, it's repeatable, uh, and it's a really neat way of quickly building multiple domains for the resource modeling process. It's really important because um, the data density is coming in a, a, a lot larger. We're getting much bigger data sets. The time to uh, creation of these geological and resource models is getting shorter, so people want models quicker. And we're starting to move into a world where people want to be able to do multiple models and actually assess the quality of those models against the data that they might drill in the future or other data sets such as, such as geophysics. Yeah, we've put a lot of work into the implicit modeling functions in Micromind 2020. Um, we've got two brand new um, tools, I guess we'd call them. So one is for wireframing surfaces uh, directly from the drill hole data called the contact tool. So for building geological contacts and the other one is for vein modeling. All things that we've been able to do in the past, but um, you've had to manipulate the data a bit. These are more um, automated tools and they give really nice results, especially for things that are quite tabular or flat. So we're really excited by those changes. Uh, there's been a number of dialogue changes to just smooth the workflow, uh, produce nicer results. We've also done a lot of back-end work to make the whole process faster. From the implicit modeling point of view, all the major uh, development work's done. It's really just a tweaking process at the moment just to tidy up some of the dialogues and um, testing with lots of different data sets. So we've been really lucky in that our clients have given us lots of data to test with and we're, we're running all sorts of scenarios to make sure that when we release 2020, it's exactly what the market needs. A lot of people are really gonna like this, is the, uh, the, the way that we change the RBF in the, um, in the implicit model. So we've now got this exponential function that people can modify and play with. So it sort of starts to make the, um, the data work more like a, a resource modeling process. And that's something that our clients have been after for a while. So that's going to be really exciting. And also the way that we're dealing with a really complex structural data set. So we've got this new interactive structural modeling tool that's in there that's going to be really powerful.